El Nino not only changes the water temperature, but the air pressure, the wind speed, and the wind direction, and of course we talk about the sea level, and also changes the upper air patterns. Surface storms are usually located in close proximity to a jet stream, which usually means a better chance of rain. This El Nino jet stream graphic shows a somewhat west to east jet stream. There she goes right there, one right there. And then um, probably just as important as this one right up in here in Canada in the northeastern part of the country. That flow there produced by El Nino conditions, that upper air flow is produced by the El Nino conditions that started out on the surface. That stops the Arctic air, not totally, but it does reduce the number of really cold outbreaks. And then the southern jet uh, brings quite a bit of precipitation and stormy weather to the south. Now, La Nina, the cooling of the Pacific waters, uh, can also affect the weather patterns around the world. Now, as we look at this, we see those jet streams pretty far north. Remember, with El Nino, on the average, you get this jet stream across the Pacific there, southern section of the United States, and you got one similar to this, but with La Nina, they all move to the north. We always need to keep in mind that each El Nino and each La Nina are usually different, each producing their own unique child, so to speak.